Today, we start the final race of the series, the Tour de France 2025, with one goal, winning. We'll be taking on the 2022 variant, starting off in Copenhagen, making our way through a cobble stage on day 5, to the first mountain finish on day 7, La Planche de Belfille. Arguably the two most important stages of this race are in week 2, with stage 11 finishing on the Col du Granon after the Col du Galibier. But that is not the end when it comes to the high altitude meters because we've got the Galibier once again in the 12th stage and Alpe d'Huez is the finish of that one. We head to the Pyrenees on day 17 with a finish on Peragude. After that, a finish on Otakam on stage 18 after also doing the Obisk in the stage. And last but not least, a 39km time trial on stage 20 to Rocamadour. That is the 2025 Tour de France. Honestly, across the 21 days, a pretty mixed parkour between climbing, time trialing and other kinds of stages. Let's take a look at our team. Scandinavia is very well represented with Tobias Halland Johansson as one of our GC leaders, 81 mountain, 75 hill and 69 time trial, but only 56 goal for the cobble stage, so that's a bummer. Tobias Foss though, 79 mountain. 76 time troll, 76 hill, and 68 cobble, so this man is more likely to be the overall leader in the end, especially knowing that he's closer to a fitness peak than Johansson is, because uh, that will matter a lot in this. Now you might be asking, why is Fortunato not in this team? He was supposed to ride the Tour de France this year. Turns out he caught a virus, so that's a bummer. We might as well rename him to Lorenzo Unfortunato now. Unlike the Giro, the start of the start of this Tour de France is gigantic, with the likes of Pogacar, Alaphilippe, and Van Aert. Next to that, Sepp Gass, Evenepoel, Carapaz, Vlasov, Almeida, Vingega, Van der Poel. Jesus, this start list. Let's start off with the initial time trial in Copenhagen, then Wout van Aert, Gena Evenepoel, Pogacar, Dennis, Dumoulin, all the big guns I have for this one. I'm going to try and do my best with my GC leaders, that is Foss and Johansson. Here we go, the Tour de France 2025 has begun for Yolo Cometa. Tobias Foss on the road with 78 time trial right now. I'd love to do a similar time trial to Primoz Roglic, who is 11 seconds down at the first time check. Come on Tobias, he crosses the line 11th on 11 seconds, perfect. That's the same time as Roglic. Finish line coming up, come on Tobias, come on Tobias. 17 seconds down. Oh my god, that's a good one. Seventh. Ouch, a minus two on the day on Johansson is not exactly what I was looking for. Let's hope his time trial is still pretty good. Here it comes, crossing the line right now, and we are 41 seconds down, 127th. Jesus Christ, that's terrible. Over the line now, 120th, 116 down. That's, oh my god, that's terrible. With Wout van Aert on the road, Remco is currently first at the uh, first time check. Let's see if the other Belgian can take over the first spot there. I think he can. Let's take a look, and Wout does it by one second down. Only. Does Wout do the same at the finish line? He does by four seconds. And that makes him the first stage winner in the Tour de France 2025, taking home the first yellow jersey. Honestly, I've got no clue where we landed, so let's take a look at the full results. Looks like Tobias Foss landed on a 21st spot, 26 seconds down. That is seven seconds slower than Joao Almeida. We also lost 12 seconds compared to Tadej Pogacar and a total of 21 compared to Remco Evenepoel. Stage 2 goes from Hoshkile to Nibo. We've got potential echelons in the final few kilometers. Wout van Aert is favored. My goals are simple. Try and gain time in those echelons if they happen. And let's try and win the stage with Aldani. With about 30 kilometers to go, we are nearing the potential echelon section. Our train is ready. We are ready to strike. We've got water, so nothing can go wrong, I think. I'm pretty sure these echelons start on a gigantic bridge. There it is, the gigantic bridge right ahead of us. Our train is ready. We are hammering it already with Skelmose. The wind is now 24. It's about to pick up on this bridge, I think, but this is going to be one hell of a ride. 20 wind. Oh my god, it's going down. The wind is going down. That's not supposed to be the case. It's supposed to go up. Eight kilometers to go. This has to be one of the most anticlimactic stages of my life right now. Jesus Christ, nothing's happening. 15 wind. Gonna switch towards Schelling right now on 85, 90 perhaps into the final stretch of this echelon section, but this is going to be a straight up sprint. 2.5 kilometers. Everybody's trying their sprint train out. Kovi in the wheel. Oldani in the wheel of Kovi. Let's go with Kovi. Let's go with Oldani right now. Jakobsen in the middle, we've got Merlier on the left, we won't be competing for the win, I think Demar wins, we're gonna try and come third, but I think it's gonna be fourth on the line, yes, no, third, we beat Merlier, so I guess the podium's pretty good for Oldani, but hey, I wanted echelons and we did not get them, that was a bit sad, <laughs> I was hoping for big time echelons, but 
The game didn't want to give it to us, I guess. On to stage 3 then, Violet to Sunderball. We've got 180k, completely flat, a sprint stage. Once again, Wout van Aert is favored. Once again, time for Aldani. 3.5k to go, three men in our train still. Corby, Schelling and Aldani. Gonna try and up it towards 95 before this corner. We gotta beat the track train somehow. Oh, we won't, we won't. Let's try and sprint here. Schelling the wheel, come on Schelling, come on Schelling. Aldani's getting blocked a bit. Let's try and launch with Aldani right now. Bennett right there, Bennett versus you and Aldani, let's try and podium with Aldani, or Schelling can podium, Edith Schelling might actually podium with that plus 5, yes he does, that's actually a pretty great result. Like, in an ideal world we can take a stage home in a sprint, but in all honesty with the team we have, a podium is certainly already good enough. Stage 4 then, Dunkerque to Calais, another option for potential echelons, but I've lost all hope in that completely, but hey... If they come, I will try and use them. Once again, Wout van Aert favored. For the Dutch-speaking viewers out there, I've got some pretty entertaining news about the stage in real life. You might know this TV show in Belgium called Vive le Velo, which is a show about the Tour de France, a talk show every evening after each stage. And I'm a guest on that after uh, this stage, the 5th of July. So tune in there because uh, you'll see me on screen. <laughs> oh my god, today the wind went from 14 to 42 entering the echelon section. So... I think today it will work if I keep going with Skelmose and the group is indeed splitting up. The wind seems to be a cross tailwind, so perfect for echelons. And we are gone with our team. We've got a team time trial going on. Come on, Aramburu, hammer it up this hill on 90 and keep the tempo going. We've got a group behind trying to get towards us once again, but if I can keep up the tempo, this would be glorious for us. Asgren spacing for Jakobsen, Chikone for Ewan. We've got a gap of one minute on the peloton, Skelling and Kovi. Keep this up, my man. Foz needs to be able to follow, though, because his energy is not looking good. Final three kilometers. Johannesson is done for. Oldani will protect Foz now in the final two and a half kilometers. Come on, Foz. Follow these guys. Follow these guys. You can do it. 1.5k to go. The gap is now 40 seconds to the peloton. Van Aert is trying to drop people in here. We're going to try and keep on going in here. Let's try and sprint with everybody in the final stretch. But I need to make sure that Foss is first over the line. So I'm going to drop these guys. Sorry, guys. And you're going to try and just finish there. Foss wins the stage. 10 bonus seconds. Peterson in second. Van der Poel right here. Looks like a gap again right here. This is a great stage for us. We've got our stage win. <laughs> what a win. Pure echelon action. Unlike stage two. And we gain time in GC because we take the bonus seconds. But wait, what the fuck? Same time? We were clearly ahead of people. Come on. Ah, oh, how are they in the same time? This is illegal. This is literally us getting robbed right now. And because of that, we're not even in the yellow jersey. Wout van Aert is still in yellow, and the time we gained is pretty minimal now. Honestly, we got robbed. I think we genuinely got robbed, and that's not okay. The top 50 or something? Yeah, exactly. The top 50 is all same time. Those were like four groups on the road. Come on, game. Ah, anyway, Foz is now on 16 seconds, 2 seconds behind Pogacar, we got past Almeida, so that is an improvement, but this hurts, to be honest. Nonetheless, I'm afraid we've got a more stressful stage ahead. Lille to Adam Badek, basically a mini Roubaix in the Tour de France. Van der Poel and Van Aert are the favorites, but I don't care about the stage win here. Kovi, Aramburu, they can all fuck off with their stage win ambitions, because my man Tobias Foss is gonna try and survive this stage. We've got 68 cobbles, so... I think we can actually do relatively well here compared to some of the other riders in GC. So let's try and use that stat to our advantage. Oh my, we've got a plus four on Cobble when it comes to Foss. So this makes it even better. 72 Cobble. I might actually go aggressive on this stage. We're on the Cobble sections of the day, but in all honesty, no major gaps in the peloton yet. But I think it's going to take not that long until that happens though i'm trying to keep myself relatively to the front of the peloton without losing any gaps but my positioning is also not perfect at all i'm just hoping that we can get to that big section right here in the middle and then i can try and go 85 myself and put some pressure yes johannesson is going to drop that's inevitable at this point but hey what can i do about it the guy shit at cobbles okay on to era wadini which is probably the longest sector on the entire road right here i'm gonna go 85 with my train on the right of the road 90 to try and make sure i'm in the perfect position at the start here there we go let's go 90 on the section we're gonna try and split the peloton ourselves here and see if that does anything goal is to keep Foz with us i'm spending so much energy on him though so not exactly ideal ah come on split up peloton split up you can do it 70 people oh there's some splits but 
I've actually got no clue where anybody is. Coffee's behind, Roglic is behind. It looks like we have plenty of people pretty much behind, but we also are done at the front when it comes to Oldani. So I think I might have upped it a bit too much in terms of tempo, but Landa's on the floor, so not ideal for him either when it comes to GC. Let's keep some of the tempo going on 75. Let's recover with Foss because that is very much important now before the next sector. Oh my god, Pogacar is down. Pogacar is down. 26k to go and Tade Pogacar is on the floor. So that is bad for him, but not bad for me. We're going to try and keep ourselves in the group ahead. I don't think I can go major when it comes to the tempo here. Let's hope we don't see major attacks here. But if Pogacar stays behind that, that would be good for us. We have to survive this sector, the final one, before we get to the next sector. Yeah, that's always the case, Benji. Foss is not having a good time right here. Let's wait on him. Let's wait on him. Let's do 60, something like that. I don't care if I was getting an ad right away. I really could not care less. Go do trying something. I don't know what. Come on, Foss. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Kovi can protect you. Let's make sure we are waiting in that group. 55, let's make sure we can try and recover with Foz in the wheel here. Let's keep ourselves on 65 and keep this going. Come on, come on, come on. Recover, Foz. Recover. You can do it, my friend. Recover as much as possible. We're actually catching back up with Fanat and Vanderpool. People are trying some stuff here as well. Foz, keep it going, my friend. Keep it going. 85, get over this final cobble sector right here. We've got Skelling to do something as well later on, but... My goal is to try and make something happen here right now. Come on, Foss. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now the goal is to keep going with these guys. And I will try and perhaps attack with Skelling. 4k to go. Let's give that a try. There we go. Why not? Let's give that a try. And we are trying to get out of the front right now. In this group, I'm going to keep on pacing myself with Kovi for Foss. Let's do 70 perhaps. And let's try and work together to get away Asgreen and Vanderpool right here with Skilling. And we're going to try and sprint. We're going to lose that sprint from Vanderpool and Asgreen most likely. Actually, actually, oh, it's going to be Vanderpool. It's going to be Vanderpool. But it looks like we're going to sprint in this second group as well with Foz and Kovi, which is going to be a great thing for us because I am very curious what happened to the other GC riders right now. Let's take a look at the final results and let's see... How good we are doing in GC with Tobias Foss. In the end, we tried taking the stage with Skelling. It did not work, but we did great in GC. Let us take a look what the actual differences are and whether we're close to the yellow jersey now. We are now on the sixth spot on 35 seconds of Kasper Asgren, who takes it away from Wout van Aert. So, oof, Wout out of yellow. I didn't see that coming. Foss being on 35 seconds in GC, while Pogacar is on 127, so a loss of one minute by him. Evenepoel losing time, Mars losing time. We've also got Dumoulin as well, made on 130, 132, 158 for Vingegaard. People have lost time today, serious time. Into the hills then, from Bash to Longwee. This is going to be an uphill sprint, I'm pretty sure, unless we can try and do something on the early two hills in that final. But I guess we'll just try our best with Foz and so forth, try and get as close as possible and perhaps go for the stage with the likes of Kovi and so forth, but this might be the stage where Pogacar and so forth gain time back on us with bonus seconds. Here we go, 12.5k to go, the first of these climbs is starting, Skielmos is the next one to actually pace on this one, Oldani out of the way, your work is done for the day, and we are launching with our team, 44 people in the first peloton, we've got Ineos trying to save something here, so they must be behind with their leader. Onto the court, the pool on two. The first half of this is very steep, so let's do 99 with our train right here. Falls right there. Looks like Johansson is out position. That's not really what I wanted. 85 again with Aramburu now. Come on, guys. Come on. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. 3.4 kilometers to go. We've got the final uphill into long week coming up. Aramburu is doing a lead out for Schelling and for Kovi. And we're going to try and actually hammer this climb. Come on, Ramburu. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right now. Skelling in the wheel. He can launch right now. Kovi in that wheel. Perfect, perfect. Let's launch with Kovi as we speak right now. Uh, it's not going to be us winning this, I'm afraid. But let's hope Foss does not lose any time right here. Because that's looking uh, a bit likely at the moment. Come on. No gaps, no gaps, no gaps. Please, no Pogaccio in the top three. Looks like Pogaccio will not be in the top three. We'll be second with Kovi. Ah, oh, Vanderpool takes it. Again, second behind Vanderpool. Two times in a row. Fortunately, we did not get robbed 19th on same time, so no time loss on this one, and we almost won the stage again. Time for the final stage of today's episode, then. Tom Blanc to la Super Planche de Belfia. We've got Tadej Pogacar as the favorite for this stage. 
we will try and not lose time. As simple as that. Come on, Tobias. Let's do our best. Oh, nice. A plus three on Foz and we're not even in his fitness peak yet. So this is the stuff I like to see. We've got Skelmos with a plus four. Good support in all my riders except for Johannesson. So we're looking good. Also, Johannesson has upped his mountain stat to 82. So the guy literally grew in the Grand Tour, which is amazing. Here we go. I am ready for La Planche de Belfield. We've got 8.6% for 6.6 kilometers, but it goes way up to 20%. So shit's about to go down. Foz with Skjelmose and Kovia support, and they are looking really strong today. So I'm going to go 80 from the bottom. Will that be too much? Probably, but I guess we'll try it anyway. Come on, team. Let's do this. Attack by Vlazov. Bardet following. Let's move it up to 85 right now. I think we can afford to do so. Mas Valter trying to follow. Fanad also looking good here. Bardet having some trouble right there with energy, it seems. Let's do 87 for a bit. Pogacar trying to follow. Let's not get caught behind here. Four kilometers for us, 130 to the front of the race with a single rider, Louis Hurvake. 2.5 kilometers to go, let's go 88 with Foss. Skelmos will take over from Colby pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. Looks like Pogacar has the upper hand right now when it comes to his placing. Hurvake still has a bit of a lead, but it's gonna get steep towards the end. Ah, come on Skelmos, help out now, there we go, Colby out of the way, perfect. Poga oh no, Colby, 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 you blocked him, you blocked him man, why did you do that? Let's keep on going, let's keep on going, come on, Foz, 93, 95, 93, not too much yet, not too much yet, come on, come on, come on, passing Pogacar, come on, Foz, Tobias, 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 come on, come on, come on, he's gonna win, he's gonna win against Pogacar, Tobias Foz wins on La Planche de Belfia after a wonderful week in the Tour de France for us, and I think, uh, I think this won't get us the yellow jersey because Wout van Aert is third on Planche Belfia. Jesus Christ. What a stage win. He's done it. He's beaten Pogacar and Wout van Aert of all people on a super Planche de Belfia. Tobias Foss. Wonderful ride by this Norwegian. We are now second in GC on four seconds of Wout van Aert. 102 ahead of Tadej Pogacar. So let's hope we can keep it up for the next 14 days in this stage race. But what a start to the Tour de France for us. There's only one negative part to this week, and that's the fact that Tobias Johansson is not a GC rider for us anymore. He lost about 7 minutes today again, but that was relatively on purpose by me. He's now on 18 minutes, and in all honesty, he's going to be a super domestique in week 2 and 3 for Tobias Foss. So, Tobias Foss is our leader, and we're going to try and win the Tour with him. That's it for today, then. We put him the last 6 stages of this Tour de France first week, and we were able to get a good GC position after those 7 days, so... I'm hoping that we can better that even further and catch that first spot in the next two weeks of this race. As always, thank you very much. I'll see you very soon again for the next episode of Eolo Cometa, where we continue the Tour de France 2025. Goodbye.